Alright, what's up guys, welcome back to another Grand Cross video, and today we have some new JP content coming to the game. Uh, I'm not going to be covering it tomorrow, at least when it comes out in JP. Uh, I'm still trying to stick to global, but sun sun like this, when new information comes out about a character, I definitely want to cover it, because, well, it's going to eventually come to global. It's something to talk about since right now, since it is a bit relevant. So right now on the screen, you can pretty much see the gameplay in the background. They did show like a little trailer and other also of a gameplay. They look pretty nasty. It's basically becoming like a, uh, an Archangel team. Granted, there's only three Archangels. Um, there is one more who's supposed to be coming. Pro I mean, he don't come. He's not even in the anime yet. So the fourth one will be a proper mad thing. And getting these guys might be pretty important because the fourth character, the fourth Archangel, uh, is going to be absolutely nuts. So you definitely want to have these guys by the time uh, that guy does come. Or girl. Don't want to spoil, spoil it too much, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the character. So I'm going to go through all the skills. Uh, this is like a rough translation of Reddit. So I'm not sure how true it is or... Uh, at least from what I've heard other people saying to us, this just looks like to be the sort of the right sort of thing, but we'll, we'll go through it anyway. So they are all Archangels, so they do come with graces, and uh, it looks like to be the same thing with commandments to where if you have a full Archangel team, only one uh, grace actually activates per game, so you're not going to get all three graces or four in the future when the fourth one does come, and uh, it's literally exact same as uh, commandments, so something to make them a bit more balanced. They do look pretty nasty, as you can see right now on screen. Turn one, uh, Serial just absolutely just like almost one hits the whole team. Basically, like another red lost vein, uh, which is quite annoying because we don't need more AOE red hitters, like it making every green unusable. Uh, but the thing is, too, they can all work well together. Uh, they do have what Luciel, who is um, boosting up or lowering their crit resistance or crit damage, so I actually do like more damage. Uh, you can see the little passive they got above draw. Eskinor doesn't have the actual passive from Luciel, but still, he, he did so much damage. So, literally, any green unit from now on is literally it's gonna get slapped. It's actually unreal. Okay, so here is the translations. Bear in mind, this is off Reddit. It could be wrong, but at least from what I've seen from the gameplay-wise and, like, talks online, uh, it could be very well. At least most of it is true and uh, to a certain extent, right? It's not going to be too far off, but maybe, like, certain things are a bit different. Uh, so, Serial, the main one, probably the best one on this banner. At least... I think so. I think Tarmel might get replaced by the fourth person who does come out in the future. Uh, but skill one uh, inflicts cutting. So it just I guess it doesn't really matter what the translation is. Uh, damage to 300%. This is tier three. Uh, and then all, to all enemies. And this new skill is a uh, crit chance multiplied by three. And his, or his crit chance based already is actually kind of high. So this, as you can see already, does tons of damage. And it works with Luciel because obviously Luciel, Luciel, how do you say his name? Ludo CL, I think that's how I say it now. <laughs> you can go right this time. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this, these two work well together and probably going to be like the best thing. Uh, but bear in mind that you will have a tact card. So straight away, I just saw Red Gold for popping off. It's tier two initially disabling his whole team. Uh, but chances are they will start first. So you can probably wipe out the team anyway. Uh, but yeah, his second skill uh, inflicts uh, assault could be uh, just another translation. Definitely when it comes to the global, we call something different. Uh, damage up to 475% onto a single target. Uh, bear in mind, this is tier 3. Uh, and it just does more damage equal to the enemy's resistance rate. So massive, massive damage as you saw in the gameplay. Uh, I'll just have to keep on repeating back and forth so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, and then the passive is actually probably the best. Well, not the best, but like, you know, the, the one that you need for Archangels uh, or Goddess Race, I guess. Uh, passive is 20% uh, of Serial's basic stats will increase the allies of Goddess Clan, so Goddess Race. So basically what it is, uh, it's increasing the basic stats by 20%, or is it attack? I think it's, I think it might be up in the air. I'm pretty sure it may be attack or, or just basic stats, because if it's basic stats, it might be a bit broken could be wrong but i had heard it was just attack so we have to wait and see what that is like um and then his grace obviously just the one where if you just have him in game and you activate this one it will come up on him or if you have him in the actual association uh slot it will actually affect the other players in the game when a crit occurs 50 percent of the enemy's critical defense is ignored so more damage pretty much it's, it's mad this are oh, you can you can imagine seeing this on Lost Vane doing more damage for his crits or Blue Zeldris is going to be unreal. Just bear in mind, you kind of have this guy, you kind of have to have the guy at 6-6 six, six at least. Uh, well, not at least, but you know, you want to get that 10% uh, basic increase in stats with the association. Uh, if he's only 1-6, he's getting the 5, he's only getting 5% rather than 10. So you want to make sure, you, you know, you kind of wail out this guy. Uh, but to be fair, right now is probably not the best time for someone on JP. And in ultimate, it inflicts damage up to 945%, this is his max, and it removes 3 ultimate gauges. Nothing too crazy with that, but still, uh, looks like to be a uh, single target damage. 
if you get a max anyway, just for the association and to have the grace, uh, it's actually not the worst ultra move. Three ultimate gauge. To be fair, the f 945 actually multiplies kind of high anyway, so it'll probably end up killing, especially with his crit chance and crit rate and all that stuff. Um, it's probably going to kill. So removing three ultimate gauges isn't too bad, but I guess that's kind of good if you don't have him too high level. Next, we have Tarmiel, probably the worst one, but kind of makes the team. Uh, a Usable, I guess, because it's going to stop the, some damage. Uh, so tier three just inflicts damage and removes three ultimate gauges. So like what we had with uh, Mai and uh, Merlin and Helbrum, I think they're the only three people to have it. Just your standard AOE, or I guess not AOE, just your standard uh, was a removal of ultimate gauges. Not too bad, especially since this team doesn't have any way to remove ults apart from I guess uh, Serio actually Owen. So this you should take this one. It's actually pretty good. Uh, then this skill two is a stance. So this is going to be new. So this is a tier 3 skill with stance card, so it obviously goes into a stance. Uh, so it looks like to be for one turn, but you can just see what he does. Uh, when Tommy was attacked, he reduces damage taken by 65%, and you take 30% damage, and you take 30% off the reduced damage and inflicts on him. So he lowers their attack, and then, like... It's not a taunt. They can still attack the left and right guys. Uh, or if he's in the middle, as you can see. Um, but then he also takes the damage from him, like from the people and flicks into himself. So basically, the tank of the team. Uh, we have to wait and see how it works, like with an actual, like you know, hands-on gameplay, because it kind of just doesn't really make too much sense. But we have to wait and see. Uh, the passive, so it's going to make or break the character pretty much. Uh, the maximum HP is reduced by two hundred percent of the defense or power activated when entering battle. So you want to have high defenses guy to lower their maximum HP. Uh, 200%? I think he's, I saw, like, it's, it's like 8k, so you're gonna get, like, 16. Like, this ain't too crazy, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. So you're gonna lower the H HP by 200%, so what? Like, 18k? <laughs> Is that right? We have to wait and see. Uh, but I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst. We have to wait and see, yeah. It's not the worst thing. Ultimate uh, inflicts damage up to 630% onto all enemies and heals allies by 30% of the damage done. Uh, I mean, at max ult, 600% isn't too high. There's no actual like addition of multiplier. Um, it's literally just damage. Uh, not too... No, I mean, to be fair, 6-6 six, six is not too bad. Uh, AoE as well. And then also healing uh, uh, allies. Once again, there's no heals in this uh, in this team uh, until we get the fourth one, maybe. He will say, see what that's about. Uh, but yeah, this uh, ultimate isn't too crazy. But to be fair, with the, what's his grace? If the character who has the grace is damaged, so doesn't matter. So bear in mind, obviously, if he has it on himself, he is the person who has the grace. Or if he puts on association, the character's HP is restored by 150% of the defense power, and it, it's not really it's not really sure if it's actually the Tarmil's defense or of the own defense. Uh, yeah, so this guy kind of have a lot of defense on him. That's that's pretty much what I'm getting from here. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of a standard thing anyway. You don't really go for resistance; you always go for defense. Uh, so it's it's nothing to worry to worry about. Uh, you're gonna have the defense anyway, but uh, not I just looking at this person. Tarmil definitely seems like the worst one. But maybe when we get him in game, he might be a little bit better. Sario probably looks like the best one. And I, like I said, I think with the the fourth Archangel coming in, in the future, may actually just, you'll probably end up placing out Tarmel. Or maybe put him in the four slots the way he comes in afterwards and just tanks a bit. Uh, but I can see you probably using what? Because it's Goddess Clan. It's not our, only Archangels. So, um, what's it? Goddess Lip is getting the boost. So, yeah, it makes sense in the future. I can see people running. Lucio, Sario, uh, Goddess Elizabeth in the fourth slot and then... The, the new Archangel, which I'm not going to say who it is. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much the translation and the first look at the new characters coming tomorrow on uh, JP Grand Cross. Not going to be summoning. I uh, literally only have like 130 diamonds on the game. Uh, but I'm trying to be saving. I mean, we'll see how far it is. I guess on screen now, they also shown the new story mode, which means they're going to be going to the new... Uh, well, they're finishing up the backstory of Gopher, which means they're going to be going towards um, the place where the one happens. Uh, so we, we still got a few more characters. We're probably going to get another Deanne before then. And then a Transformer in Malaskula at that point as well. Uh, so yeah, still quite a lot to go through. Like, it's it's kind of crazy. And uh, we're not even halfway through the new season yet. And we still have so much manga content to cover. And when the manga stuff comes, it's actually going to be insane. Like, it's... I'm scared. Like, this, like they're making these characters OP. Wait until we get all the new ones in Grand Cross. Uh, the manga stuff is going to be unreal. And uh, yeah, the graces are... Uh, there's a lot of versions of these two. Like, there's like three or four different versions of these two. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, but the Grace themselves, I can see... Uh, 
Serie A Grace, if they have it on other characters, I think they will. Because it's, oh, I, 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 I'm not going to see too much because it's kind of spoilers. Area. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you think of the new characters, if you're going to be summoned or not, if you are playing JP. Uh, i probably skip, to be honest. Like, I mean, unless you're waiting for them, you kind of have to have them up. Uh, but if the one Eskinor is coming soon, you may want to save for that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace.